Hi friends, welcome to the Empowering You podcast. Before getting into the show, I just wanted to tell you from the bottom of my heart, I love you all and I really appreciate you tuning in. I've been wanting to make this podcast for such a long time and now to finally sit here, it just feels great. So thank you so much and now enjoy the show. Yo friends, welcome to another episode of the Empowering You podcast and today we're going to talk nutrition. More exactly, I'm going to tell you how you can change your diet and how you can change the way you eat for good so that it actually sticks and the goals that you achieve will stay around and you're not just falling into that trap of yo-yo dieting. The secret for making sustainable changes to your diet is actually building habits. Habits define who you are, not just in nutrition, just in life in general. Um, Habits are the sum of what we are doing every day and therefore, yeah, they define who we are. And if you want to be successful in nutrition, in fitness, but as well as in life general, what you have to do is create sustainable, strong habits. And that's a very big contrast to what a lot of the nutrition coaching has been in the past. So the big staple of nutrition coaching has been meal plans. And I still have a lot of people that come to me and ask me if I can write a meal plan for them. And that's something in, reg- in most cases I don't do. If you ask me, hey, can you write me a meal plan? I'm going to ask you, are you a professional athlete? If you're saying no, which you'll most likely say, then um, there is no point in making a meal plan. Meal plans are for pro athletes. For everyone else, we need to build habits. We need to focus on habits because you cannot, your life is not eating and training like the life of a professional athlete. He's doing everything to be the most successful possible and therefore he needs an etched out diet in which every little thing is perfect and he's gonna adjust his whole life around that. But you cannot do that. You're gonna have a very stressful life, you have work to do, you probably have family and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot going on and that can throw you completely off. And in that stressful world to prevail and have a good um, diet, you need to be able to fall back on your habits and just do it without thinking, doing it without making actual decisions every day. So that's why uh, rigid prescriptions like a meal plan, they usually don't lead to much. Like there are two scenarios what's going to happen. And the first one is you don't follow them at all. Because as I said, there's a lot of stress going on. So you just do half of it and the other half of the time you eat something completely different. And then there is no point in it and you're probably not going to be successful. And the second scenario is that you actually follow it rigidly for me- for like a couple months, maybe two, three months, and you're actually reaching all the goals that you told me when you asked me for the meal plans. And that's awesome, really great. But what happens now? Because you never learned to eat right yourself. It's like as if you were cycling all the time uh, with supporting wheels on. As soon as you take them off, you're not gonna have the balance to cycle on your uh, on your own, right? And that's kind of, as soon as you take the meal plan away, you don't know what to eat anymore. And you probably don't want to live with the meal plan for the rest of your life. You wanted it to maybe lose 10 kilos. So now you lost those 10 kilos, you're like, great. So now I'm going to eat without a plan again. What's going to happen? You're going to eat like before you started with the meal plan again, because that's where your habits lie. And well, then you're probably going to gain those 10 kilos back relatively quickly. And welcome to the world of yo-yo dieting that we want to avoid. So let's get into how we can build those habits. But first, um, I want you to understand that foods aren't right or wrong. Um, It's not black and white. It's not good or bad. Like a meal plan often makes you think. It's like, oh yeah, that's on the plan. That's what I can eat. And that's not on the plan. So it's a bad food. No, that's not how it is. We have a continuum from unhealthy to healthy. And the foods are somewhere in the middle of that continuum and so is your diet somewhere on that continuum. And the goal is that we gradually move from the unhealthy part more in the direction of the healthy part. And um, as you move on, as you progress on that continuum, what is going to happen is that you build those sustainable habits step by step. So yeah, you're going to take one step at a time and get a little bit closer to healthy. And then you're going to take the next step, get a little bit closer to healthy. And 
you give each step and each habit the time it needs to develop. And once you're confident with that habit, once you can do it without thinking about it, once it's automatically, it just happens. That's when you establish the new next habit and the new one. And you move on, you move on, you move on like that until you're happy with the diet you have, until you're reaching your goals, until you feel like, like that I can go on for 20, 30 years or whatever. And at that point, those habits are implemented so they stick around. You programmed yourself to eat in a certain way. And now that sounds very abstract. So let's put it into practice um, and bring it in a practical example how the whole thing looks like. So the starting point, your diet at this point is, we just assume a, a virtual person, um, he's going to wake up and gets a coffee for his breakfast, no food at all, then rushes to the office. And well, at 9 a.m. he starts to get hungry, so he buys a bagel, he eats that. That kind of keeps him satisfied until lunch, where he gets into his car, goes to McDrive, buy a McDonald's burger, then he gets back. Well, the McDonald's burger, we all know it, it's not very satisfying. After two hours you're hungry again, so he grabs a chocolate bar, he needs some energy. And then at night he comes home, he's super stressed from the long day at work and um, just whipping a bowl of pasta as fancy as, it, as fancy as it gets for his dinner. And then at night he wants to chill out and relax a bit, so he drinks a couple of beers while watching TV. So well, let's see from there, where could, could we do an adjustment, right? Um, well, the first one that would be really easy is the lunch. So we decide that he's now going to the supermarket instead to McDonald's and he's buying some hummus, some cheese, some hard boiled eggs and some uh, ready to consume veggies. So that's already a lot better as you can see. Uh, he gets good protein, he gets veggies in there, um, he gets some healthy fats. So um, yeah, already a big, big improvement. And what's going to, ha going to happen now is that meal actually is going to keep him satisfied. So his second improvement will be, you know what? I don't need a chocolate bar anymore in the afternoon. I'm not hungry anymore. So he just cuts out a chocolate bar and goes for a while without it. And then he's like, okay, where can we do the next adjustment? Well, I think on the breakfast I could work so a bit. And then he changes his breakfast. Um, he gets some granola, Greek yogurt and a fresh fruit. So we have something colorful in there, some more vitamins. The Greek yogurt has some protein there. So already a big step up from the bagel. He goes like that. Dinner still is just a pasta when he gets home tired. And he's like, well, there we got to do some more changes, right? So on his way home, he's grabbing a pre-washed salad and a rotisserie chicken. And he eats those together with the pasta. It's a little bit less of pasta. So again, we got some protein in there. We got some, some salads, some greens in that meal. So already a big step up, I would say, right? And then as an next step, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna have one beer at night um, just for myself because I like it. And already there, you're gonna have a lot less calories suddenly. And if that's all that person wants and he's like, yeah, now I'm happy, that's my sweet spot, then that's great and he can go on like that and eat and he's already going to eat so much better than he used to and he's actually going to eat a lot better than a big part of society would. But there is a lot more stuff he, he could do if he wants to. So we could add even more protein. We could start cooking the whole dinner by ourselves, make a real fresh meal. We could use that to meal prep for lunch. We could have a tea over the beer. And then we could even get into more advanced strategies. Like he could start like carb cycling. He could start a diet form like keto, vegan or paleo, whatever he likes, you know. So there's so much more things he could do to improve further. And it really depends on that person. It's like individual changes that he fit his life and that he feels comfortable with. Our goals differ, our lives differ, and so do our dietary needs differ. Not every one of us needs to eat like a professional athlete. To thrive on life, be successful in business and in, in the rest of your life, in your family, to live a happy, vital 
and fulfilled life you don't need to have a strict plan and everything the perfect diet it's enough to find your personal sweet spot where you'll enjoy diet where you enjoy eating where you're happy with what you eat every day and still eat healthy and that lies for every person as i said in a different spot and as you move along that continuum and building those habits you kind of follow a sustainable way to achieve your goals as well so if your goal was to lose 10 kilos you will eventually lose them if you eat that way and if you develop strong sustainable and healthy habits it might take a little bit longer than with a plan but it will stick around because it's habits it's now who you are it's programmed it's ingrained deep in your brain and you're going to eat like that for the next 10 20 or 30 years so you're not just going to lose 10 kilos you're going to lose 10 kilos and get healthier and then stay healthy for the rest of your life and that should be our all ultimate goal so yeah that's it for today that's the approach that i use with all my nutrition clients and i truly believe in it because each and every one of them had great success and we actually achieved big changes quite fast even though it might not seem like it but making those little changes they have a big impact already on your life and you're going to progress quite quickly with that approach as well so yeah that's really successful in the long term that's how you should change your habits and that's how you will change your diet successfully i hope this helps talk to you soon again peace out Yo, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this episode, write a comment below telling me which was your favorite part of today's episode. It always gets me so hyped up, so pumped to hear how this stuff helps you, how this inspired you guys. And also make sure to follow the channel to stay up with future episodes and follow me on my social media accounts at pt.lucas on Instagram and newly also on TikTok at pt.lucas. I can't wait for the next episode. See you there. Peace out.